So just a quick video um, to explain pretty much what's in the blog post below. Um, but I do know guys like to see videos more than reading. Um, so recently uh, there was an update. I'm not sure you know whose fault it was or whatever, but obviously people who use the Yoast plugin um, were experiencing that their media attachment pages were being indexed and that was causing a bit of a problem so you know you're wasting crawl budget on your media attachment URLs being indexed so that whether the bug was WordPress, Yoast and I believe that uh, Yoast have said there was a bug and they have rectified it with an, an update I'm not suggesting it was their fault <laughs> um, there is a debate as to who's to blame here obviously when you own a website you are fully responsible for using any plugins and, and keeping it up to date and making sure that you're on top of everything um, but you know what happens when these URLs get indexed by Google people then tend to no follow them and you know whether Google choose to no follow them or not it's a different story people have been trying that and they've not had much success with those URLs still remaining in the index even though people don't want those URLs indexed um, so there was a bit of back and forth and trial and error and stuff like that um, but just how to quickly get URLs out of Google's index after they have crawled and indexed a URL um, is to put a 410 status code on it which tells Google that that page is gone and very quickly what you'll find is that Google will de-index those URLs um, and that's it. It's quite a simple and easy fix and it's something that you know that you may or may not have suffered from it but if you do then it's quite a simple and easy fix there's no point in asking google you know not to follow a page after it's been in the index somehow it seems to jam in there so um i would highly recommend that a 410 resolves the problem and it has done for um, some of the people i've been speaking to who use yoast so that is a quick easy fix for you um if you haven't suffered from it and you now update your plugin then you should be fine um, but there was a bug and it can cause a bit of a problem so that is the um, pretty much all there is to say about the blog post below hope that information was useful um, so there you go